very commonly I am asked that does shampooing lead to hair loss and baldness? My answer is no. Shampooing doesn't lead to hair loss, baldness or even thinning of hair. Rather regular shampooing is required for cleansing of scalp, skin and hair. It should be done on daily basis in people with short hair. And people with long hair can do it on alternate days. A shampoo will wash off the dirt pollutants which get accumulated over a period of time. Normally our hair roots have a associated oil gland called sebaceous gland. This oil gland gets accumulated on the scalp skin over a period of time. This excess oil attracts dirt and pollutants which get accumulated over a period of time. And if we don't wash it off, it will act as a culture medium for growth of a fungus called Malassezia furfur. That fungus will lead to dandruff and that dandruff can lead to acne-like eruption called Pityrosporum folliculitis. So this can lead to hair loss. Thankfully that hair loss is transient and once the dandruff is gone, the hair which we have lost due to dandruff, they will tend to grow back. To prevent the growth of that fungus and consequently the dandruff, we need to wash our scalp on a regular basis. So we should use cold water or only lukewarm water for head wash. We should never use hot water for shampooing our hair. Because the hot water will leave our hair very dry and tend to cause more hair fall. And shampoos are of various types these days. Thankfully most of the shampoos from good brands are natural based and they have less detergent activity. However, there are some shampoos in the market with very high detergent activity which tend to leave our hair very frizzy and dry. So those frizzy hair they tend to entangle more and when we try to comb our hair we can have traction alopecia. So we have to decide which shampoo suits us the most. Generally we think baby shampoos are good, they are mild and people start, even adults start using the baby shampoos. But the problem with baby shampoos is that they are alkaline and they are designed in such a manner that they will not cause redness and burning in eyes if they get into the eyes of a newborn or an infant. However, those shampoos, those alkaline based baby shampoos can leave our hair very dry because they are alkaline and we can have more hair loss because of those baby shampoos.